One of the most important things to staying ready is to continually face forward, especially when you're at the net. Everything that's important in tennis happens in front of you. Okay, there's only one thing that you can figure out by turning around and looking at your partner hit the ball, and what's that? Whether they've made the shot or not. We might be able to figure out a general so direction too. Side, but we can figure all that, that out even faster by He's learning to read our opponents. Now, so facing forward, as important as it, as it is, it's not always the easiest thing to do. Just remember that when you're up here, you're taking your life into your own hands when you turn around. Because everything is moving towards you this way. Mm -hmm. All right, you have less and less time once you turn around. Let's talk about positioning real fast. There's three things that determine where you need to be on a doubles court. What are they? The first, reign supreme, the ball. The ball determines where you need to be. Okay, this is the number one thing that you need to know where it is in order to figure out where you need to be. Wherever the ball goes, we're going to move with it. Okay, uh, what's another thing? Your partner. We're covering the court as a team. So we have to know where our partner is. What's another thing? Where your opponent is. Now, specifically, which opponent? The one closest to you. Even more important. Because the one returning the ball is going to tell you where the ball is anyway. Okay, because that's where the ball is at. If the person who's hitting the ball, that's basically the ball. Does that make sense? Okay. What about like moving from one side to the other? Uh, you have an no. opponent, I'm not an opponent, but you're a partner who's back there. No. Shouldn't they yell to you to move? Because you don't yeah, know that's, where they are that, turning around. That's right. Back. Absolutely. Communication is always key. Back back. Always key. Now, we're going to, we're going to, we also operate under some assumptions. And some of these assumptions is that we hope yeah. that our partner that's knows what they're back. doing. <laughs> okay. So, if the ball, if I'm right here, I'm yeah. hopeful yeah. that my partner's yeah. not right behind me and that my partner is over there. So we have to operate under that as an assumption that we're all on the same page. Uh, and if we're not, communication is key. Take a look at the people that are on the court with you. You're all training together right now. If you're going to play doubles with somebody, pick somebody on the court. Okay, because these are the people that need to, that understand what you know. And you've trained together. And you know this drill. And that you know essentially the same things about positioning so you can communicate on the same level so picking a partner is a huge thing too so but as, as far as positioning the ball your partner and your opponent if the ball is over here or just catch this there's the ball okay now he's got it and he's look where he's standing he's at the net now where do I need to be not so here. Why? Because you'll slam it in your face. Because you'll slam it into my face. I need to back up. That's an example of adjusting to your closest okay. opponent. Okay. Now he's got the ball, right? So the ball is telling me to move closer to him, right? It is. That's absolutely what we le what we learn. We learn that we learn that the ball has a gravitational pull. And we want to be close to it. Here's the exception. <laughs> this is the exception right here. Okay, when he has the ball and he's that close to the net, I need to create space so that I have enough time to react to the ball that he's about to hit. Okay, if my partner, a way to react to the partner, a way to react with my partner and determine where I need to be is simple. Kathy, come right here. Where to move if she is continually watching. Okay, yes, and I'm over here. Just watch this for a second. Kathy, you're going to poach. So you're going to cut over to this side. Ready, go. Now what I have to do to react to what my partner is doing is I have to move over here. Does that make sense? You have to cover the court as a team. That's just a couple examples right there. Okay, so we're going to open up the court now. We're going to start off the drill the same way, but I'm going to let you play out the point the way you want to play, with one exception. I still want an attacker. The only difference this time with my attacker is that I want you to read your opponent's tendencies. 
if they like to hit over here and you know they're going to hit up the middle as opposed to right over here, well then it's absolutely fine to come over here. So we're going to play out live balls. We're going to start them the same way, but now you get a little more freedom. And I want to see, hopefully, everyone ad make adjustments. Make adjustments to what your opponents like to do. Good luck. <laughs>